now. Yeah, by the way, uh, again, guys, we are welcoming our international viewers and our Filipino viewers. We need to cater to our international viewers. That's why we are speaking That's English. Right. That's why uh, for all, uh, all our Filipino viewers, please bear with us. There, uh, there are no subtitles for this one <laughs> in Filipino. So yeah. <laughs> I think that you guys can, all, uh, can, uh, can actually understand this. So we're welcoming our uh, viewers uh, internationally. And I think uh, it's time for us to be chill. For once in a while because this is a chill tournament but still the intensity is the same Your team is all right <laughs> so, uh, i think we started the draft already but magic yeah, um, i'm not seeing any developments I yeah i think so I think, uh, yeah my screen froze for a little bit so yeah, uh, i know that you guys uh, can see what is happening so do uh, bear with us yeah and i'm sure that you can see what the draft look like looks like right now yeah, I, I'm actually uh, seeing the Claude ban. Yeah, and the Hanzo ban. And Natalia. I think, and, and Natalia. I think uh, for Team Miracle MYY, they actually uh, researched the Aether Clan. Because uh, the Aether Clan is one of the teams who, uh, who revo re 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 uh, revolutionizes the the meta in using the Hanzo pick so that's why I like this uh, ban coming in from Team Miracle MY and of course the the MVP hero of MPL they also banned it out the Natalia mm -hmm. so this is actually a res uh, these are actually respect bans for <laughs> the Filipino squad not yeah. a lot of respect honestly but we don't know uh, these are the heroes that are prominent in the regional ma public matchmaking and I think that in uh, the Southeast Asian region this is a pick that's also been um, I would say popularized in uh, other nations particularly in Indonesia so probably that's also why Miro MYY just straight up banned out the Natalia and the, the Hanzo yeah. And look at this, uh, MYY, I mean Miracle from Malaysia, getting the Granger. This is some. Um, this is actually a surprise for me. Yeah. Normally people uh, tend to to veer away from the Granger pick itself. Yep. Knowing that it's no longer the best uh, when it comes to the meta, but we don't know. Maybe Miracle MYY had prepared something for us. Yeah. With this pick. I like it. Uh, they have a huge setup with the mm. Minowans Fury, the Malaysian Minotaur. Plus, they have the last Insanity Burst and uh, with the combination of the Criticals and the Dead Sonata, I think uh, Aether Chick, they really need to uh, expect huge amount of damage coming in from Miracle mm -hmm. YY. This is in interesting though, because there you go, they actually uh, locked in the Guinevere. Yeah. This is very unorthodox for... Uh, mm -hmm. For uh, Team Miracle, why why don't you usually see this? But again, they're the ones who's uh, who's playing. So uh, I think it, I'm not being biased, but in terms of the normal meta, uh, I think Aether Chicks got uh, got the victory uh, in the draft. Yeah, uh, it's I'm not final strap. I, I agree because now Aether Chicks have secured the Grok. It has good combination with the Kimi. You have solid yeah. side laners through the Uranes and the Thams. And it's not like Miracle MYY have the necessary heroes to actually take down the Uranus and the Grok. They don't have something like a carry. They yeah. opted for the Granger. This can easily be countered by getting the Dominance Ice or maybe like uh, getting anti Kiras. And in the mid game, there, I, I don't see Miracle MYY out uh, uh, out playing Aether Cheeks when it comes to damage, out damaging them. So this is a hard game definitely for Miracle MYY. They went for Guinevere and Lilia. So I just want to say to the viewers right now that in the Philippines, this meta is not being used. This is not yeah. the usual picks here in the Philippines. But maybe from Malaysia, this could be like their standard picks. Maybe they yeah. do pick up the Lilia a lot as well as the Guinevere. But it is proven here in the Philippines that it's not that effective. Yeah. You know what, Manjin? I hope that we get this wrong. I hope that um, through this game, we can see that maybe the Guinevere um, and the Lilia will be successful. For uh, the stream to mm -hmm. 
to start again. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting. Yeah, this, I have to start again. But yeah, uh, I like the damage output here from Team uh, Malaysia. Shout also, shout out to our Malaysian friends as well. Uh, uh, for uh, for uh, uh, shout out to Gideon mm -hmm. and, uh, and Papa and Papa. I hope that you guys are watching as well. Uh, they're the shoutcasters. Oh, here we go. Here we are. All right, here we go. I'm now seeing the inbox. <laughs> All right. Oh, Shinbu, there you go. There you go. It is okay. Yolo now who is using the Selena. Yolo, mm -hmm. one of the known uh, players, and uh, is now a, a streamer actually here yeah. in the Philippines. All right, Wolf. So I think uh, going back to the game, like what you've said, wow. uh, this is a standard uh, lineup for Team Philippines, but. I like the unorthodox pick. Well, for me, it's unorthodox because I'm not used to it. Um, but again, I like the Wombo combo yeah. from Team uh, Malaysia. I, I, so, I want to see it. Here's the thing, uh, Manjin. I think we're seeing a 1-2-2 one, uh, one, two, two setup coming out from mm -hmm. Malaysia, from Miracle MYY, wherein they have this Gulliver in the, the mid lane as a support for the Lilia or maybe otherwise. Okay. I'm not entirely really sure who the core is. Well, it's either invincible or cheeky. Maybe if the maybe if we see the items eventually, we'll know. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just, there yeah. it is. So, to add to that, uh, mm. this Guinevere, who is invincible, is invincible, is using the execute. And this Good is your, I know that this is your favorite spell, man. Yeah, Look like... at that. There you go. <laughs> Maximum potential. Yep. <laughs> damage after damage. After the after the 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 jump, she can immediately pop that execute yeah. and land early game damage. And I think for Team uh, Malaysia, they will just go for these early aggressive uh, skirmishes every time they have the the violent queen from the Guinea Beer. Yeah. So they, so that's uh that's how they want to approach this. They want to burst their opponents. Out. Well, that's the classic. And uh, mm -hmm. battle spell anyway. Now they actually stun out the Minotaur this time. There's a flicker oh. used to get away. More mm -hmm. additional kills here from Team Philippines as uh, Miracle. Malaysia. Oh, there you go. Oh, the bottom lane. There you go. Counter kill though from Invincible. All in all, I think that Thames is happy with that kill. It's a one uh, versus two that he survived and was able to keep the tower intact as well. So mm -hmm. it's uh, totally fine for Team Philippines right now. But the stun on the cheeky. Look at the burst. Oh, Selena will take out the Lilia, Manji. Yolo being patient here. Pops another trap. Here comes Daryl. But that is two kills from Yolo with the Garot. And man, Yolo, Yoloing his time here in the bottom side. Magic Joy still charging that ultimate. Meanwhile, that is another arrow from Yolo. That is a Minowan's Fury from the Minotaur. And that is a revenge kill coming in from. Uh, Miracle MYY YOLO and company I think they overextended their welcome in the top lane mm -hmm. and uh, Cheeky was able to get the redemption kill Now what what can now happen is a lot of push from team Philippines Definitely because they have the Kimi with the mage killer and even without their Kimi at this point They were able to push the third on the bottom lane. That's the Thames and now he's gonna be Probably they get out here unless of course he wins the duel. This is why the Guinevere it doesn't work here in our region Or at least in our country in the Philippines as a virus the Thames wins that battle might even get another one But he is being surrounded by three members of a team Mir miracle That's why he still fell but the fact that he killed off one allows the other members like the Kimi in the mid lane yeah. to actually push the turret in the mid lane. I think I'm beginning to understand their uh, their master plan, the Miracle's uh, master plan. Uh, if you're gonna think about it, all of the heroes from uh, the side of the Philippines are melee, so they want they really want to get that five on five type of team fight. But again, that is so risky because first of all, all your ultimates matter, so you you really need to like uh, reserve your cooldowns. Uh, but meanwhile, for Team Philippines, they're just dominating each lane, especially the mid lane. And right now, that is the tower, uh, the tier two tower, gone mm -hmm. for the side of Malaysia. And man, I, I think uh, 
Team Malaysia, Team Miracle MYY is in a little bit of trouble coming into the first five minutes of our game, man. Uh, it's a lot of trouble, honestly. It's gonna yeah. be harder for their team to uh, retreat from now. Mm -hmm. See of Invincible jumps to the back lines when they go for the Selena. Does have a lot of burst in Ooh. her. But before that, she was blown up by the members of Team Philippines. This is uh, either Jix now. Togo able to run away and there's the defense or the revenge I mean from Selena from the back lines able to get Magu Joy yeah. our Minotaur and there's and another at, stun connection look at the bottom lane it's virus it's like 2020 all over again a here true in the virus. bottom side a true virus oh my just split pushing onto the bottom side meanwhile the members of Team Miracle MYY are dying in front of MM and YOLO. YOLO, I think, is now on a mega kill. Team Philippines just picking off Malaysia one by one. And uh, by the way, Wolf, just to remind you, this is a best of one series. Yeah, this is the best of one. Uh, this yeah. is group stage is the best of one. This is not a group stage. First round, I mean, it's all about a group stage. It's all yep. about the best of one, I mean. What am I saying? But yeah, this is all about the best of one. <laughs> and there's a lot of lead that the Team Philippines have already created now. The stun connects on the export, Virago Armor down. There's the tumble away. So it's safe for now. But it feels like the team of the Philippines will not stop. There's the Minotaur Fury. Too mm -hmm. early for my own taste. And now they burst down the Minotaur. The punishment, man, Jane, is so good that they jump on the Lilia. They take him down as well. What a wild charge to cancel the stun. Ooh. The Violet Requiem cancelled by the knockup coming up from the wild charge. And it seems to be over, man, Jane. Can't stop, won't stop is the motto of Aether Chicks. Because they're slowly but surely killing the momentum and the hopes of Miracle MYY from winning this game. Another game from the Aether Clan. I think, uh, Wolf, now is the time that we can clearly say that this is a stomp from this Team is... Aether Chicks. I think uh, Miracle MYY, they were trying something with this, uh, with this lineup, but they failed with their execution and man oh. there you go the kills after kills Aether Chick just owning Miracle MYY in the first game of the RGL wow congratulations to Aether Chicks and unfortunately for Miracle MYY their Victory. experiments or I don't know if this is an experiment